What are my dad's origins in gymnastics? Well, it's interesting. A 230 pound football player at Kent State met a petite gymnast and he kept going to watch her at practice and the coach, Rudy Bachner, said, listen, you're gonna either learn how to coach it or you're gonna learn how to do it. Well, he tried it unsuccessfully, so he learned how to coach it and the rest is history. are very fortunate to get to deal with all kinds of people across the community. And, and I really can't think of anybody that we've worked with that is um, as pleasant, as enjoyable, have their hearts in the right place um, as, as Ron and Joan. Got to know them back when we were bidding to host the U.S. Gymnastics Championships that Cleveland hosted in 2002. And it was actually, a, not only was it a major event in and of itself, but it was major in the history of the Sports Commission and in Cleveland's hosting a major event. It really was a, a breakthrough. So in many ways, they helped not just with that event, but they helped to develop the entire business model of the Sports Commission. And I think it helped advance USA Gymnastics and certainly helped advance our organization into you know what's now been 170 events and $450 million in economic impact. And that model that we created around that US Gymnastics Championship is, is what carried forward now 14, 15 years later. I came to Cleveland, Ohio about 15 years ago, thanks to my husband. And it has been such a warm welcome here, thanks to Ron Ganim and the Ganim family. I mean, I have never felt so welcome at a gym. And that says a lot because I've been to so many gym clubs. But one of the great things that stands out about Ron Ganim and the Ganim family is how loving and warm they are. Imagine how many lives you can impact in 41 years of business. 41 years is a long time to touch a lot of children's lives. And they go on to become adults, and the great and beautiful part about that is they bring their children back. And the cycle continues because they have such a great program here. From a developmental standpoint, from a caring standpoint, from a success standpoint. To every child that walks through these doors, he is committed to being a father figure. You know where there's that famous book, uh, everything I needed to know I learned in kindergarten? Well, my daughter's saying and her friends say, everything I needed to know I learned at Gym World from Mr. Ganim from hard work, dedication, perseverance, how to win with grace, how to lose with grace, they learned from him. Two and a half years ago, I moved here from Seattle, Washington, here to Cleveland, Ohio, and I found this gym, Gymnastics World. They were really welcoming, and when I first came here, Mr. G was really welcoming, and all the gymnasts and everybody was here to help me for any questions I had, any needs, and to help me learn gymnastics. September 10th, my sophomore year, I committed to the University of Maryland. I've been doing gymnastics for 14 years, and I've been at Gymnastics World my whole life and it's become pretty much my family, my second family, I guess, guess I should say. Mr. G is probably my biggest supporter and coach in the sense of mental coaching. She's concerned about a possible missing her hands, and she's never missed her hands. Would we call that fear reasonable or unreasonable? It's unreasonable, it doesn't have a root, but you know what, those are the hardest fears to deal with. Okay, it's called a free-floating anxiety when it doesn't have a cause. Now, if you told me you've missed your hand 17 times and had bumps on your head, then that's a reasonable fear. You should be afraid of the back handspring. Okay, it has a root, it has a cause. But the free-floating ones, the ones you can't understand because you've never been hurt or never missed your hands, that's the ones that are hardest to deal with. In nearly half a century of coaching, Mr. Ganim has accumulated a myriad of unprecedented achievements. His sheer number of women's state gymnastics championships and consecutive championships with Brexville Broadview Heights High School is awe-inspiring. Because Ron is the only coach, and I mean not just in gymnastics, in any sport that I dealt with, that literally 
was not satisfied to have me see the student or the, the athlete and tell him what was wrong. He wanted to be there. Almost all the time in the latter years, he'd call me about an injury and he'd have the diagnosis before I'd get here, just from having absorbed as much as he could while he worked with me. One of the very special things about Ron and Joan is the way they're able to instill the importance of philanthropy in these very young children. Each year they raise tens of thousands of dollars for organizations like Ch Children's Miracle Network and Rainbows and Babies and for families facing loss and adversity. And they get the children so excited. And these children go out and they knock on doors and they spread the word. And it is because of this that these children coming into adulthood will understand and will continue these charitable works. What stands out most is I think his everlasting impact uh, on young children. And, you know, his lifetime body of work of developing and cultivating contributing members of society, I think is going to be something that will not soon be forgotten. And again, is a testament to his character and a testament to his commitment to developing uh, fine young adults. Well, for all of us here at Channel 4 News, I'm Ron Burgundy. You stay classy, San Diego. Stay classy, San Diego. And Nola.